Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today we're going to be getting rid of some trash from the farm today using my Jeep Gladiator here. Um, I'm going to see how much stuff I can get in the bed of this truck to take to the dump. And uh, this truck ain't got a very big bed on it. And it's, you know, I've never called this the new farm truck because it's not really the new farm truck. It's more like the Adventures into History truck. And that's what I've been using it for, so I had to empty out the bed before I could start putting stuff to take to the dump in it. Because most of that stuff, aside from the car cleaning kit and the cooler, is stuff that I use for cleaning up old cemeteries or stuff that I towed around with me for adventures into history. So anyway, um, I want to get rid of some of the uh, trash that's in the house. Usually I just put a bunch of bags out by the road and cross my fingers that the uh, trash guys will uh, be kind and pick it all up. And they always are. But trash day is not till Friday. Uh, and I'd like to go ahead and get some of this stuff moving. Plus I can also get rid of some more annoying items uh, that I can't just stick by the road and uh, they will pick up. Farm cat says, hey, well, she did. She did say, hey, come here, farm cat. Anyway, you like that old microwave right there. That needs to go. Now, I will not take this if it's out by the road. And I've been holding on to this stuff until I could uh, get the going to the dump trailer hooked up to the Gladiator. But the Gladiator did not come with a, with a trailer hitch on it. So I got to put a trailer hitch on it. And... Uh, then I just remembered today that it actually is technically a truck with a bed and I could just use it to haul some stuff to the dump. So that's what we're gonna try to do. I guess I'll get rid of this. I actually used this. This is an old vacuum cleaner base, but I used it to roll something heavy across the floor here. As a matter of fact, I think it was this refrigerator right here. Okay, so that's an appropriate mountain of trash bags there. Bear in mind, all of this stuff came out of our spooky room back here. Lots more to go in that room. And I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure not all of this is gonna fit in the bed of the old gladiator. So we may still have to put some of this by the road, which is fine. I just didn't wanna, you know, put it all out by the road and have to wait until trash day to make it go away. Let's get, use the stairs to get back up. And also these bags aren't extremely heavy because I'm always of the mind that I'd rather use more bags than deal with a super heavy trash bag, you know? So a couple more updates from the farm here. I've been dealing with a summer cold. It'd be best described as not the one that starts with the C. Just a regular all summer cold. And between that, and I've already talked about, mostly on live videos, about the heat. When it got real hot here on the farm, I stopped doing a whole lot of work out here. Because for one, I remembered that I'm my own boss. And, uh, I gave myself a vacation from the farm and decided I would go out and, f and do other things like film for Adventures into History. And it was a much needed break from the farm. Plus, simply just could not take the heat anymore. And I said that when it cooled off, I'd just play catch up on the farm because no matter what it is, as far as what grows outside, ain't nothing the bush hog can't handle, at least in the places that I've already cleared. And then as far as inside of the house, well, that'll always be waiting on me. I wish it would magically clean itself up, but it hasn't been doing that so far. All right, so I think that's, a, that's definitely a load on the tractor. And we got, well, you know, we got most of the bags. So now let's play the game of let's see how much will fit on that tiny bed on that Jeep Gladiator. All right, so now let's get the truck loaded up. I've got two things kind of working against me here. I'll show you. One is the fact that it's a Jeep Gladiator and it's got a small bed as it is. The other is this uh, 
bed cap or whatever you call it that's on the top here. Obviously it limits bed space, but I absolutely love this thing. It came on the truck when I got it, it's waterproof. So I can carry a bunch of stuff back here. I could carry camera equipment back here in cases and not have to worry about, you know, getting rained on. Um, so those two things are gonna limit how much we can load into this truck. This is the kind of thing that often happens on the farm. Dump runs and that sort of thing. But it's almost never, never shown on video. And uh, mostly because in, when I'm doing this sort of thing, I just want to get it done. And whenever you're recording and working, the act of recording, moving the camera around, that sort of thing, thinking about what you're going to say, setting up your shots. Well, that always doubles any kind of work time that you're going to have, if not triples it. So some projects, that happen out here. I just want to get them done and not film it. Of course, there's also the thing that people don't believe that it actually happens unless they see it on video. This truck's actually holding more than I thought it would. Points for the Gladiator. But what I was going to say is we could get to the dump and when we get there, we'll see exactly how many pounds of trash we just removed from the farm. And I was thinking we should have done that all along uh, because I've taken the like the dump trailer over there or the go into the dump trailer it doesn't actually dump but I've taken the go into the dump trailer to the dump and you know it's been pretty impressive how much trash I've hauled there uh, from the farm so I think it would have been neat all this time to have kept a running tally of just how many pounds of trash we've taken off this property but like I said Oh no, broken glass. But like I said, we didn't do that in the past, but maybe it's something we can do going forward. Cause I just think it'd be really neat to see how much trash leaves this place. So obviously we've still got room in there, not much, but I think we'll be able to haul all of what, uh, what I had in the house out today, which is Amazing. Props to the Gladiator. Props to the Gladiator. I was kind of talking a little bit about how small your bed is, but look at that. It's, it's getting the job done, actually. All right, just three or four more bags. Still waiting on my friend Benjamin to come back through and go through all the clothes we removed from that room. Oh. Yep. All right, look at that. Props to the Gladdy. Props to the Gladdy. I didn't think she could handle all that, but sure enough, even with one third of the bed missing, we got all of that out of the farm. So now let's hop in, head to Hamilton, and uh, see how much uh, see how much we weighed. So they've been been doing a fine job restoring these old mid-century modern houses and buildings right there. They were in real bad shape a while back. And that looks like Bobo in his truck right there. You, you ain't broke down, are you? No, I ain't broke down. I'm just broken it off. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'll see you, Bobo. And of course, Brent's boat shop right there in the rock station. Apparently they're doing some kind of road work in downtown Waverly Hall over yonder. So we can't just drive straight across. Oh, there's the old boat shop. All right, we got to turn here by the old volunteer fire department for Waverly Hall. While we're at the stop sign, we'll look up at the Waverly Hall water tower. Isn't that a pretty house?
we're on the road headed out of Waverly Hall. So we'll see you back at the dump. All right, so our going in weight was 5,380 pounds. So next we'll get to see what our leaving weight was. Probably won't be much. So I don't think these bags are that heavy, but we'll see, still be interested to see how many pounds we get off today. And there's a cemetery somewhere out here on this landfill property. And I'll have to come back and check out one day on my other channel, Adventures into History, where we document the past. Tell you one thing for sure, that was some nasty ground I just walked on. I don't think my poor farming crocs are ever going to recover from it. I got more tires than the old bird farm out here. I think they charge, I forgot how much it is, but it's so much a tire that you bring here to throw away. Something like five dollars if that but you can only bring so many tires a day and it's time to bring some more tires out here from the old bird farm because i think we almost got a never-ending supply of them all right so now our final act is going to be seeing how many pounds of trash we just got away from the farm. That was what, 5,380 coming in. So let's see what our exit weight is. And we can do some math. 5,180 is our exit weight. So we took away 300 pounds of trash, 200 pounds of trash from the old bird farm. Not bad, not bad. It's definitely not the biggest. I think I've taken over a thousand pounds of trash off of the farm before. Of course, we were using trailer and a bigger truck at that time, but still 200 pounds of trash off the farm. Well, that ain't a bad number at all. So if you guys enjoyed this video, kind of different, kind of relaxed too. Um, I'm still recovering from this summer cold and we're going to get back on it out here on the farm. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on another adventure on the Old Bird Farm. Or off the farm. 